The award-winning lyricist and music industry supremo Peter Foss has previously talked to Cornwall Online Radio about his long career. Now Mike Dees catches up with him again, this time to talk about his re-release of the 80s chart topper The Birdie Song, for which Peter has written lyrics. The Birdie Song, composed by Werner Thomas and Terry Randall and performed by The Tweets, reached number two in the charts in the 1980s. A bit of an oxymoron, surely, as The Birdie Song was an instrumental, Peter. Amazing, wasn't it? Given that it was never released as a vocal recording, like Agadou and Mac Arena and Simon Says. And quite undeserved, in my opinion, to be one of the three worst records of all time when it went on to be a huge disco hit along with those ones you just mentioned. Yes, how did you come to write the lyrics for the Birdie song? Well, I was compiling a children's book called The Funny Day Songbook and asked John Nice, who published the Birdie song at Valentine Music, if any lyrics existed. He said there was a few, but he didn't like any of them and said, you're a lyricist, go home and write one. So I did. And he liked what you did? He certainly did. Now aged 80... You approached your Tim Pan Alley contemporaries and music industry supremos Irving and Tony Hiller. Tony wrote, Save Your Kisses For Me, United We Stand. And that was, uh, Save Your Kisses For Me was the Eurovision hit, it, wasn't it? It became number one. Yeah. Irving put me in touch with his son, Lawrence, who was a record producer. I just felt it was time. It had become such a well-known tune over the years to release a vocal version. Lawrence Hiller put together a girl group called the Burdettes to make the recording. Peter Foss, once again, a pleasure talking with you. Thank you. Thank you very much. In Person with Peter Foss was brought to you by Mike Dees and produced by Julian Rowe. It was a hearsay production for Cornwall Online Radio.